hey friend welcome back to my channel today my name is mary ann please if you are here for the first time kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time i post a new video this video is going to be about making this beautiful zara cap so without further ado let's get started these are the materials i'm going to be using to make this zara cap i have my ankara fabric i'm using this ankara fabric to make this zara cap you can use a stretchy fabric or a non-stretchy fabric. This is a non-stretchy fabric. This is what I'm going to be using to make my Zara cap. And the measurement I have here is my head circumference. Go ahead and measure your head circumference. This is my head circumference. My head circumference is 22 inches. This is 22 inches. And I'm adding one inch for my sewing allowance. But if you are using a stretchy fabric, please just go ahead and use your exact head circumference without adding any sewing allowance. I hope that is clear. And the height for this Zara cap, I'm going to be making 18. I'm going to be making use of 18 inches for the height of my Zara cap. So I'm just going to keep this aside. I'll also be making use of my Marco. This is what, this is what Marco looks like. Marco is sold in the market by people that sell shoes and bag making material. It comes in sheets. So they measure them in sheets. But if you can't find Marco, if you are in a place where you can't find Marco, you can make use of a very thick collar stay. Just double it. But I prefer using Marco because of the thickness and I like the result it gives me after making my Zara cap. And I'll be making use of this crinoline for the design. On my Zara cap this is just one yard this is one yard so you can make you you can you can get more than one yard depending on how full you want your design to be and this is a large crinoline so this is about seven inches wide but the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and cut my crinoline so what I have here is 18 inches by two and a half inches so this is my crinoline 18 inches by two and a half inches so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place my fabric on my table, the wrong side facing up. So this is the wrong side of my fabric. I'm going to fold this edge where I have my head circumference. I'm going to fold it by half an inch. I'll fold this by half an inch. I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew this. After folding here by half an inch and sewing, I'm going to get my marker. I'm going to get the center of my marker. So I'm just going to mark the center of my marker and I'll be marking the center of my fabric too. So remember this is still the wrong side of my fabric. So I'm going to place my marker like this. And I'll be using my fabric to fold this. I'll be pushing my marker, making sure it gets to this end. Make sure this is very firm. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. And I'll be sewing this very close to my marker. Make sure there is no space left. So that your marker will be very firm inside and you won't have any extra fabric. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew very close to my marker. So I'm going ahead to fix my marker inside my fabric. Just go ahead and sew very close to your marker making sure the marker is very firm inside so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to fold this into two after folding this into two i'll just make a little curve around this area just like this i'll just go ahead and curve this a little after curving i'll go ahead and cut this out I'm just going to fold this to the right side so this is the right side of my fabric I'll be using my hand needle and thread make sure your thread is well double so it doesn't break while you're working so I'll be making some loose gathers from this point to this point I'll be gathering this by half an inch gathering make sure you secure your gathers very well so I'm going to be securing 
my gathers like this. Securing my gathers, this is what I have. My cap is ready, so I'm just going to keep this aside. And I'm working on the design for this cap, so I'm just going to get my cradling. Just go ahead and cut out a very long piece. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'll be using this long piece to pipe one side of my cradling. I'm going to be using this, I'm going to be piping it just the way we attach our bias. So I'm just going to be using this to pipe one side of my crinoline. After using my fabric to pipe one side of my crinoline, so I went ahead to tie this side up with my thread to stop this from loosening. So I'm just going to be securing this edge like so. Make sure you secure it very well. This is going to stop it from loosening. So I'm just going to secure this like this. And I'll repeat the same process at the opposite side. So after securing these two ends, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring these two ends together like this and I'll be using my needle and thread to bring these together. bringing this together I'm going to pass my needle out to this side of my crinoline and I'm going to be making a loose gathers round my crinoline I'm going to gather this round Gathering my cradling, this is what I have. So I'm just going to keep this aside. I'll get my fabric again. I'm cutting out some circles. I'll be cutting about five to six of this. at my circle I have six of this you can use four five or six pieces depending on what you want I'm going to be creating another design with this my fabric to form this I'll go ahead and cover this up so you can cover this up with button or any design of your choice I'll be using this cover button to cover mine but before then I'm going to be covering it with my fabric I'm going to be creating a cover button with my fabric using this little button I have here
so this is how I'm going to be covering my button with my needle and thread making sure this is very smooth So just go ahead and trim off the excess leaving very little and I'll go ahead and attach this to my petal fixing my cover button you can see how firm it's looking so while I still have my needle and thread on this I'm going to pick my crinoline and I'm going to place this on my crinoline and I'm going to tack this on my crinoline after attaching this to my crinoline I'll go ahead and attach it at the back of my Zara cap and I will be using my needle and thread to tack this to my Zara cap just at the back where we have this gathering. I'm just going to bring this together and tack. attaching my design to my Zara cap this is what I have my Zara cap is looking so beautiful so I've worn it on the mannequin head you can see how beautiful it's looking and the design sitting very well on the cap so let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section do not forget to give this video a like thank you and see you in my next video bye